Hey there, Darkstar here. Thought I'd make a quick uh, PC-24 ILS approach guide. Um, so the, this is just ad hoc, so I don't have a plan here. The first thing you want to do is you want to go into your flight plan and enter your origin and destination airports. So like this would be AY, PY. Let me, let me get in a little closer here and AYPY and then you want to insert it and go and activate that let's just go into heading hold mode here um, that way we don't go too crazy <coughs> um, okay so now we've got our uh, origin and destination airports you could enter a departure here if you're doing a full plan but we're just going to focus on the arrival so I'm going to enter the arrival we are entering on 32 right ILS 32 right. We'll do Islock and Saki. So I'm going to insert that and it'll show up here. It's kind of what it's planning on entering. So now we can. Uh, so, well, like one thing, like if we. S okay, so now I've got 113.9 enter in my nav uh, frequencies here. As soon as I activate this, it should switch these to be the correct ones. There it goes. So now it's automatically selected our ILS frequencies for us. But you want to double check these against your ILS plate. So 119.5, that's correct. Okay. We want to be in FMS mode right now. So what we want to do, uh, we want to activate one of our... to here so we'll say direct to we'll activate that okay now we've got a direct to now we can go nav and that should turn purple we've got fms up here to ugrek okay so i'm going to unpause now so i'm already at 4,000 feet 4,000 2,000 is my uh platform altitude but that's uh here right so um Part of this here was, was being higher, so uh, I think we got a 4,000 foot uh, restriction here, and then and then from there it should descend down to 2,000. Now for this first part, we want to dial our altitude down to the platform altitude and enable VNAV. So that will make the plane automatically descend down to this platform altitude here at this point, and then we'll catch the ILS. So, and if you're done with your flight planning here, you can go down here and select, ironically, the lower MFD, even though it's the upper one, and then click Page, and that will turn that off. Then you can see more of your, your route here. Uh, upper MFD is this one, and if you click Page, you'll get your checklist and avionics option settings uh, here. So if you want to change your settings. The other thing I like to do is click Overlay and turn on Synthetic Vision here. And again, right now we want to be in FMS or GPS navigational mode. Uh, we're not on the ILS yet. What you can also do is you can say preview uh, nav here and you can select your preview to be loc one over here. And now I can see that we're 14 miles from that. If we're too far, we won't get any data. Um, and you could put that up on here or not. And you can use this one also to show uh, kind of as an alternate guidance, right? And that way you can kind of watch it uh, as you get closer and make sure it's what you're expecting to have happen. 
All right, let, I'm gonna sim right up here a little bit to keep this a little shorter. Uh, let's just get a time up here. further out than I was expecting, but that's okay because it, it'll give us time to get everything set up. The other thing I do in the PC24 is I always run on manual right now because the FMS speeds don't work very well. But uh, let's use this time to get that set up. So one thing we can do, uh, let's put our page back up here. I just want to see something here. Oh, another way you can do your approach is you can go here and do Go onto this tab, and then you can select your approach by clicking this. So if you want to change your approach now, this is where you would go to change it. You could also change these VREF speeds. So like, let's say this is 115, 125, we'll keep 140. Uh, so you can change those here. Um, One nice thing is it does have the airport altitude on here, so you, you can see at a glance what altitude you should be heading down to, uh, 104. Um, and then the other thing we wanted to do, so uh, like at this point, uh, so click this, click cross, <coughs> and what we want to do is check speed, and then we can enter our desired speed, like we can go... Uh, like 115 apply and then at this point we could say um, 125 and here we could set it to uh, 145 and then is look. Let's set it at um, one seventy. Sarb. We can go. Let's say two hundred and yeah. Let's go two hundred here. Let's set this one for 240. Okay. So we're going to activate that plan. Now other speed restrictions can apply, but now if we switch to FMS mode, um, it's going to automatically pick the FMS speeds. I don't know why it's decided 150 is a good speed here. Um, we have some... sure where it's getting that 150 from. But we 
can always go manual and let's crank it up. Even with a high sim rate here, we're taking a while. Is it paused? It was paused. That's the problem. <laughs> hey. Lowering the sim rate back down now. I didn't realize it was paused. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, let's see what happens if we... There we go. I think that wasn't getting updated is why it was still at 150. So do not fly your approach on pause. That doesn't work so well. Okay, we can see it's already breaking back to 200 as we go to this waypoint. That's the speed we had set. As soon as we hit this waypoint, it should dial back to 170. And I generally pick these speeds based on where I can get my flaps down. One nice thing is uh, it is on the speed tape here. So 8 degrees and 15 degrees of flaps are below 200. Gears at 180. 33 degrees of flaps is whatever that is, 176-ish. And you, you can preset your speeds here to follow those. So as soon as we turn this corner, we should be slowing down below 200. I can get uh, up to 15 degrees of flaps out. It'll be dropping down to 170. I'll be able to get the gear out. And then 33 degrees of flaps by the time we hit our ILS. The only other thing we need to do, uh, remember to do here, is hit approach once we're down at 2,000. And So we're holding 4,000 until we get here. So uh, those beeps are the um, Morse code for the uh, nav beacon to make sure we're on the right one. It's automatically slowing down. We'll go ahead and go 15 degrees of flaps. So now it has picked 110, which is not correct. So we're going to go manual and we're going to keep our speed up here. Definitely don't want to slow down to 110. Okay, we've got 2,000 feet altitude, VNAV is armed, there's our VNAV marker, so as soon as we get here we should start a descent down to 2,000, as soon as we do that we can get our gear and full flaps. Pass triggered. So now we should be going down to 2000. And I believe we can go ahead and arm uh, the ILS at this point. Let's give it a shot. All right. 
It is now armed. We have glide slope and localizer. It is now doing way too big of a turn to get on the localizer path. <laughs> I don't know why they have it swerve so much. I would normally wait till I'm down as a platform altitude and closer to that um, uh, to that fixed point, and then in, and then catch the ILS. Now it's just, uh, I'm going to keep this speed up uh, so we get there a little faster. And actually, I think I'm going to sim rate up a little bit too. We'll just scoot on down here closer to the airport because not much exciting happens at this point. And you notice I didn't even need to change my altitude. Do you want your altitude really set to what you should climb back up to? Gear down. Three greens, full Don't flaps. Sink. Don't sink. Don't I'd normally sink. do that earlier, uh, so it has Don't time to stabilize, sink. but. Don't sink. 500. That doesn't look good. Don't hit the tree. Some of these ILSs are not very accurate. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. There's at least the basics of an ILS approach. Not very pretty. 